Hey everyone, if you're trying to decide between Starlink and at and Fiber, you're not alone. Uh, one is a satellite internet from space, literally. The other one is grounded fiber optic powerhouse. But which one is better for your needs? Gaming, streaming, remote work, or just everyday browsing? Let's break it down. Okay, so Starlink, uh, developed by SpaceX, is a satellite internet system that delivers service through a network of low earth orbit satellites. It's designed to bring uh, internet to rural and remote locations, places where traditional providers do not reach. Then we have AT&T Fiber, on the other hand is a traditional uh, fiber optic internet service that delivers ultra, ultra fast speeds via underground cables. It's available in many urban and suburban areas across the US. Okay, now let us discuss speed and performance. AT&T Fiber offers up to 5 GB download and upload speeds. Yes, symmetrical speeds. That means uploading huge files or hosting live streams is no problem. Starlink has improved a lot, with average speeds around 50 to 250 MB down and 10 and 40 up. Uh, it can spike higher, but it's not consistent and upload speeds lag behind. If you're a gamer or streamer, at and Fiber is clearly ahead. Lower latency, faster speeds, more reliability. Uh, latency comparison, at and Fiber average 5 to 15 ms. Starlink ranges between 25 and 60, which is okay for casual gaming and video calls, but not competitive play. Okay, so now availability. So if you live off the grid, in rural America or an RV, Starlink might be your only option. No cables, no construction, just plug in the dish and go. Meanwhile, at and Fiber is still rolling out in many parts of the US. It's mostly available in cities and suburbs, but rural air access uh, is limited or non-existent. So if you're outside of at and Fiber zones, Starlink is the only way to get decent high-speed internet. Now let's discuss hardware and installation. With at and Fiber, you usually get a professional installation, router included, and everything is hardwired for stability. Starlink ships you out a self-install kit with satellite dish, router and cables. It's fairly easy, but you need a clear view of the sky, which can be tricky in dense areas or bad weather. Oh, and you might need uh, mounting accessories, especially for rooftops. Okay, now pricing. at and Fiber starts at 55 a month for 300 megabytes and up to 180 a month for 5 gigs. No equipment fees and often no contracts. Starlink costs 120 a month, depending of course on the plan and uh, the hardware, uh, plus a one-time 599 hardware fee. Portability features like RV or roaming service cost even more, so at and Fiber gives you more speed for less money if it's available to you. Right now let us talk about the support. Fiber is incredibly reliable, bearing physical cable damage, at and Fiber rarely drops. It handles storms, high traffics, and high, uh, 4K resolution streaming like a champ. Starlink, while much better than uh, all the satellite system, still suffers from weather interference, uh, obstructions, and occasional satellite ingestion. Customer service mixed on both sides, but at and gets complaints about billing and upsells, while Starlink struggles with limited support, response times. Okay guys, so both of these platforms, but which one? So if you want to get our at and Fiber, take it. Faster speeds, low latency, better price. But if you're in a rural, rural mobile or off-grid, Starlink is a game changer and sometimes the only option worth having. Let me know in the comments which one you're using or planning to switch to. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell if this helped you out. See you soon.